Well, like pretty much everything else these days, the cost to get your lawn mowed has gone up quite a bit in the past few years. So what are your options? Consumer reporter Cassidy Williams explains what your options are to keep your lawn well maintained this summer. On a nice sunny day, this is where you will often find John Seifel. Just enjoy it. It's a beautiful day to be out. Just enjoy doing it myself. But if you don't have the time or the equipment, you may turn to someone like Mac Bellingbrack. In terms of like the mulching and the actual maintenance of taking care of the beds and everything, it's a lot easier for us to do it with the machinery that we have and everything like that. With machines like Perfect Peak, Bellingrath Brothers Landscape and Design can do things the average homeowner just can't. But that comes at a price. And Max says they've had to raise prices about 15% over the last two years. It's been tough. Also, labor cost is, uh, has gone up, definitely. That price increase has more and more people turning to places like River East Power Equipment. This is one of our most popular uh, models. Owner Dan LeBlanc says they've seen a 20% uptick in sales over the last few years. He says most zero-turn models start between three to $4,000, but you don't have to pay for it all at once. 0% interest financing um, brings down that cost um, as low as $80 a month. So let's do the math and compare what you would pay over the course of one year. Now let's say you take that financing option. You're paying $80 every month and then LeBlanc estimates you would spend about $200 a year in maintenance costs. That adds up to $1,160 a year. And then we looked at the pricing of six lawn care companies and found the average price for a cut was $63. Let's say you get your lawn mowed four times a month from the start of May to the end of September. That's 20 cuts. So per year, you're paying $1,260. So paying a professional is only $100 more per year. But once you pay off your lawn mower, it becomes a savings of more than $1,000. But for Seifel, there are things money can't buy. Getting some vitamin D, being outside. In West Hartford, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.